Now the starting pitcher in this one, Lake Backer. Chris, you don't have to dig too deep into the numbers to see how good he's been. Oh, he's been nearly untouchable. Kind of a silent assassin out there. Just goes to work and guys look up. It's deep into the ball game and they haven't been able to scratch anything off of this guy. So look for him to do the same thing today. Maybe go the distance. Maybe hand it over to the bullpen at the end and try to get that W. Michael Harris in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Lined and that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Michael Harris with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Ozzy Albies up to the plate. Trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. Top of the zone for a called strike. He's a master at hitting fastballs. You need to be careful with location if you're going to throw him. Harris gets his lead at first with nobody out. And that one fouled off with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of the double play right here sets him down looking buckled him with the backdoor breaking ball for strike three and that's the first strikeout of his major league career and it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him he doesn't want to just win games he wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. Here comes a pitch. And strike two. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Man at first, one away. Check on the runner. Harris dives back in safely. The pitch. And a curve misses outside. Ball one. Battling here as he fouls it away. That's towards center. Stowers. Has this one sized up? Pulls it in for the out. Here's Brian Snickers lined up for the Braves. Singy, the numbers tell us this is an offense designed to swing it. They're not going to force a ton of action on the bases. And so obviously that is one of the focal points that we'll look at. And you look at the quality of the at-bats because of the fact that the legs aren't a part of this game. They have to be very selective. Look for long pitch counts, grinding out at-bats, and really barrels to the baseball because it's a lot easier to jog around the bases than for these players to sprint. That misses the zone. One and one. No, oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover. Something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Wouldn't chase that time. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. That's a little bit low. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Right side, hard hit. 
He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One left for Atlanta. Now the Marlins will see what they can do. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here with my pal Singy. And on the mound in this one, Charlie Morton. What's the scouting report on him? Well, this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound. Hitters batting under 200 against him. And they're just having a hard time squaring up anything, doing any type of damage. The only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run. But outside of that, it's going to be a tough job for the opposing lineup today. Hammer, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Xavier Edwards with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Connor Norby will hit next. Looking for his first big league hit right here. That pitch gets the corner. 0-1. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, boo. Kicks and deals. Ripped to third and caught. And time now for the Marlins lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Jonah Bride. And Boog, he's a big-time run producer for these guys, man. Leading the team in homers, runs batted in, doing damage on the regular, man. Making opposing pitchers just sweat out there. It's kind of fun to watch. Get ready for a show when he steps into the box. And now here is Jesus Sanchez. pitch check swing he went too far and it's a strike and the pitch Stairs. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. In the air, left field. Loriano trying to get there. Loriano pulls it in on the run. The batter now, Jake Berger. Morton to throw over, and he's back in safely. And a foul ball. Now, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Two outs. Swings through that one for strike two. Well, that's that slurve right there. He threw it extremely well. You talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Pitch is in the dirt, and it's two and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Back to the mound. He's got it. 
And that is that. One left for Miami. Scoreless after one. And we're back. Here's the veteran outfielder, Jorge Soler. Soler, in his ninth season, 32 years old, and they traded for him earlier this year. Backer, back to work. Hit in the air, center field. Stowers pulls it down, one away. Loriano comes up to hit. Loriano. Right through there for a strike. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. A gigantic blast. His first homer of the year, and just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. No matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. He left it in a spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's exactly what he did. One out, base is empty. Next to hit, Sean Murphy. First offering misses badly for ball one. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Matthew Ross umpiring behind home plate for us in this one. He's got a reputation for having a bit of a wide strike zone, Chris. Yeah, no doubt, Boog. He rewards pitchers when they're working the edges and sometimes a little bit beyond that. So for the hitters, just have to really be aware. Don't miss your pitch when you get it early in the count. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. It's his first strikeout at this level, but it definitely won't be his last. So, you know, these early at-bats are all part of the process for a rookie. And trust me, big league pitching just looks different than minor league pitching. He still has plenty of opportunities ahead of him in this one, though. Stowers brings it in for the third out. Braves get one on the big fly. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom half of inning number two. And now the center fielder, Kyle Stowers. The right-hander back to work. Fought off foul. In the air, left field. Loriano sprinting after it. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there's one away. Jonah Bride, the next up for the Marlins. Fastball for a strike. One out, base is empty. Right through there for a strike. And that's off the inside edge. And a count one and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. 
He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. At the play, Otto Lopez. That one finds the zone, and that's strike one. And that's through there for a strike. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters. Got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Swing and a miss. And that is that. Nothing doing for the Marlins. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Out of the third inning, now in for the Braves, Orlando Arcia. The wind and the pitch. Off the mark there, ball one. Good eye right there. Come back to the mound, and it finds its way through for a hit. So now back to the top of the order. Orlando Arcia with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Here's the center fielder, Michael Harris. He's one for one, let off the game with a single. On a line, base hit. Throw back in quickly, first and second now with nobody out. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Here is Ozzie Albies up to hit. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat. Getting that first hit at the big league level. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. And the 0 1. Laser could be extra bases. Around third. One runs in. The relay throw. Safe. And they're up by three. Ozzie Albies with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He's 0 for 1. Ozuna swings and drives one. Well hit to left. That's long gone. So he goes yard to left. It's five zip. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you could say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark.
Matt Olson up to the plate. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. And that's in there for strike one. You know, these Braves doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. And here's a stat for you, Boog. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. Next offering is in for a strike. The why to kick the pitch. In the dirt, one and two to Cal. And a good eye there. It's a good take. And the righty deals. Nobody on, nobody out. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Outside, and that is ball four. Jorge Soler up at the plate. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. This is again five in a row. Olsen on at first. Nobody out. In there at the knees for a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stand on that double play. Run around the move. The 1 1 is fouled off. Next offering is down low. Nobody out. Runner at first. To short, could be two. Off balance feed, there's one. And it's a double play. Vidal Brujan, and he'll be the injury replacement taking over third. Here's Ramon Laureano. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch, just misses. Fastball for a strike. Out towards right center field. Konai sizing this one up. Brings it in. And that is that. So it's four runs for him. Four hits. No errors. And no one left. We head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Braves five and the Marlins nothing. So digging in. Griffin Konai. The right field. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers, and immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And that drops in for a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Just off the inside corner. And that is ball one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Johnny Pareda, the next up for the Marlins. And that one is in for a strike. The next offering misses, and that's ball one. Late with the swing there. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. And that's in the dirt.
That one missed. Left field sizes this one up makes the grab and there are two down now that is shortstop. so the lineup flips over and now for the Marlins Xavier Edwards one for one he let off the bottom of the first with a single that clips the corner two down nobody on here in the last half of the third Fouled off left side. Just missed. Excellent arm action on that two strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. Caught him looking for the K. Miami down in order. Still looking at that five nothing deficit. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the catcher, Sean Murphy. The pitch. And that one clips the corner. Way outside, and the count is one and one. And a pitch. Hit hard, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Sean Murphy with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Gio Urshela to the plate. There's the strike. Murphy aboard here at first with nobody out. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Coming home. Relay throw home, and he's out. Gio Urshela with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So the Marlins go with a new arm. Ryan Weathers on for his major league debut. So we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium. But the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher, whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw, and just let him lead you in this one. Arcia in the box with one away as he takes ball one. One out and a runner at second. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me ridden all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way.
Harris stands in but two away as he takes a ball. Signs of activity in the pen for the Marlins. Mike Bauman preparing to come on if needed. Number 48 warming up as well. The pitch. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. That's out to center field. Settles underneath it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Braves strand one as they are unable to add to their 5 0 lead. Bottom of the fourth, and at the plate for Miami, Connor Norby. And the right hater back to work. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. You know, these Marlins just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Next offering is downstairs. up the middle in a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Connor Norby with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So man aboard Jesus Sanchez the next to hit fly to left his first time. Fastball for a strike. Well the leadoff man gets on you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. The 01. And that one missing low. In for a strike, and it's one and two. Swings and misses, struck him out. Man at first, Vidal Brujan, the next up for the Marlins, came into the game on defense. So his first trip to the plate here. Ball one, no strikes. The Braves leading by five. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Next offering is in for a strike. That one missing inside. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. And another ball. And that one hit to first into the outfield base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now one out. Vidal Brujan with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does it can kind of be overwhelming Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game but. It's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. First and second one out. Kyle Stowers now at the plate. 
just missed. Norby on second. Ruhan at first. One gone. Next offering is in for a strike. Late on that fastball. I think he was sitting off speed there. One and two here. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. We're going to take a look at the pitch sequence of that at bat. And the thing to notice are the pitch locations. Every single one of them on the edges of the strike zone. And as a hitter, that can be pretty frustrating because you don't expect the pitcher to be able to make quality pitches one after another like that. And so those are tough spots to do damage in a great demonstration of pitch command. And it got him a punch out that time. Now at the plate, Jonah Bride. First offering, and it just misses. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. The pitch. Foul ball there. First and second, two down. Fastball gets the inside corner at the knees. Just missed. Two on, two outs. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. Marlon Strand a pair. It's 5 nothing. New inning getting started. Now it's the second baseman, Ozzy Albies. Weathers back to work. Weathers, in his second season, he features a four seam fastball, a changeup, a slurve, a sinker, and he works in a slider. And it's fouled away. Weathers fires. Not close with that one, and the count is one and two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Here's a one two. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. And now the lefty. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And here it comes. And a rope into center field, base hit. And after grinding through that at bat, he gets the best of him. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Now here is in the air, pretty deep out to center field, under it. And he makes the catch. The batter, the first baseman, Matt Olson. So a man aboard, and now it's Atlanta's cleanup hitter, Matt Olson. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0-1. Well, this is a play that you've got to make. The pitcher steps off as the runner leaves early. Make the throws, put the tag on the runner, and execute. I guess you tip your cap to the base runner on that one. Really good job of getting out of it.
swing and a high fly ball down the left field line but hooking foul. Runner at second here one gone. Foul ball left side he'll see another. And he deals. And yeah, that's outside. Now one and two. Wouldn't chase that time. That one misses. Three and two down. Good battle here about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat fights it off you'll see another and a pitch foul ball and it remains a full count man it's second Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Left hand hitter waits. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Jorge Soler digs in now. Right through there for a strike. He swings and fouls one off. At the belt and fires. Just missed. Runner at second, two down. And we're at the top of the fifth. Next one misses. It's two and two. And they'll do it again. Man on second, two down. Rip to third. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. You know, two out errors are kind of like two out walks, and sometimes even worse. You know, you think you're out of the inning, but all of a sudden, you got another out to get, and the offense has a great opportunity. They're looking to take advantage of and make you pay for. So up next, Ramon Laureano. He's already homered in this game. That's in there, going one. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. They say it went. Kicks and deals. Started after it, appeal to first. No swing. Two outs. Goes down looking. Two left for Atlanta, but they hold a 5-0 lead. Back here in Miami, John Chavi with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Otto Lopez. And a pitch. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Harris after it. Nabs it. And there's one down. Woo! He was all over that first pitch fastball. Just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. And up next for Miami, Griffin Conai. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. 
foul back our way and that's out of play. One down base is empty. And that one hammered. Solaire ranging back on it. Gone. Into the second deck it goes. His first homer of the year. And they're chipping away. It's 5-1. That home run narrows the gap between these two. This one isn't over yet. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Base is empty, one away. Now it's the Marlins catcher, Johnny Pareda. That misses, and it's one to know. The Marlins down by four, last half of inning number five. Next pitch is outside. And a foul ball. Ripped on the ground a second. And they're down to their last out. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. Back to the top of the Miami order. Xavier Edwards gets a chance to hit here. One for two. That one at the knees for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Two outs, bases empty. And that one fouled off. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Morton is just one strike away. That one almost got him. Outside low. Three and two now. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. Edwards the runner at first with two gone fastball for a strike the one one is fouled off hit hard on the ground is short and that'll do it well, he went the distance for that first MLB win, Boog. I think it's impressive how much trust the skipper already has in him. This could be the start of something great. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.